walk into my establishment wearing a Hillary for President 2016 shirt. And then I noticed it had Hillary for prison. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. He said, you know what? Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. The astonishing power of James O'Keefe's investigative divulgence reveals the hubris within her dismal inner circle. Project Veritas put the Hillary campaign on high paranoia alert after staff was approached by two women attempting to catch the campaign in illegal activity that appeared to be members of Project Veritas. Project Veritas spokesman Daniel Pollack replied, Project Veritas does not comment on investigations, real or imagined. What Project Veritas did uncover is that Hillary's staff will do anything to solicit votes, even violate state election laws. This is Christina Gupana, a Las Vegas attorney and campaign worker. She helps manage the Clinton campaign's voter registration drive. Do whatever that's you called, can, that's called, yeah. Do whatever. Whatever you can get away with, just do it until <laughs> you get kicked out, like totally. Quote, a county clerk field registrar, employee of a voter registration agency, or person assisting a voter, shall not solicit a vote for or against a particular question or candidate, speak to a voter on the subject of marking his or her ballot for or against a particular question or candidate, unquote. Violation is a felony, along with up to $20,000 in fines. Also, like the way she works the library, she Why came out with the Nevada on? statute books. Why did she and say that? Like, Henry like, Engelstein is a Hillary campaign worker who thought it was funny that a library employee would actually call him out for breaking Nevada election laws. And we're like trying to argue with her. We're like, no, no, no. She's like, no, it says pretty explicitly here in the statute that this sort of action is prohibited. So I don't care if you do voter registration, but you can't have the Hillary stuff. As drug war kingpin Joe Biden enters the field, Hillary's poll numbers have dropped by 19 points. Hillary's race to the bottom shows there just might be some decency left in the voting public. John Bound for Infowars.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're well, here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. A lot of you have been following my progress using Supermail Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Supermail Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything, had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was gonna lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick, it's real. Super Male Vitality, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and cannot be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. 
Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of Brain Force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Now, of course, on this September 11th, we remember that one of the consequences that we live with now on a daily basis is the surveillance state everywhere, looking at everything we do. And of course, knowledge is power, and those who crave power can never have enough of it. So they can never know enough about us. Now we see that they're moving to have chips that go inside of us, not just content to put cameras all around us. Leanne McAdoo is joining me now, Leanne. They're, yeah. they're going to look inside of us, of course, but this is being sold in a very beneficial way. This right. is something that is going to help us from a health standpoint, and the FDA has now re approved regulation of chip and a pill. Tell right, yeah, it's, I mean, the future scientific dictator dictatorship that we're seeing in all these science fiction movies, it is here now, and our beloved FDA is approving it. Yes. And so these are smart medicines that are, are basically telling doctors when their patients have taken their pills, if they're staying on a schedule, or if they've forgotten them altogether. Because we know that's such a large problem yeah. that it justifies spending billions of dollars yeah. to create this new technology, get <laughs> FDA regulation for it. We need to know that that's there. And of course, we all know there's another agenda to this, but listen yeah. to how they sell this. They say it'll <laughs> help ensure patients to stick to their prescriptions so reduce wasteful spending on drugs that are not taken properly. Aww. And of course, <laughs> why would they be concerned about wasting money on drugs? It's because the government is taking over health care. Mm -hmm. And when they do that, they are going to mandate everything we do. We've got we've Absolutely. got mandates in terms of um, in terms of taking away our informed consent. They mandated health insurance. They have taken away our informed consent. They're trying to work on that with vaccines. And now they're going to mandate medication and make sure you take it. That's the most important thing. Absolutely. And they say that they hope one of the future uh, things that these digital medicines can do is, is provide real-time monitoring of patient health. Yeah. So they can help yeah. assess you know, whether the treatment is working or not. And also, of course, to check out your moods. Now, you'll recall there was a, an old George Lucas movie. Uh, it was like THX 1000. 1138. 1138, yeah. Yeah. where they were there. Uh, you know, tracking all the citizens. Did you take your pills? What's wrong? You know, if you, you know, or you be temperate and docile. And there's so many movies like that. Yeah. I mean, this is what's going to happen here yes. in the future with this digital pills. And this is, you know, we, we know it's coming because this is not the first time. You'll also recall that the former DARPA director, now Google exec, Regina Dugan, has been pushing um, the, an edible authentication microchip as well as an electronic tattoo that can read your thoughts before you even speak them. It'll read your thoughts, but this uh, this microchip that's gonna be inside a pill, uh, users would swallow it in order to obtain the superpower of having their entire body now uh, become a biological authentication system so they can use their cell phone, their, their computers, well, that'd be convenient. Uh, they can open their cars, their doors, their smart homes, oh, all just by daily ingesting a pill. And I'm sure it's not gonna track your every movement. No, no, we see this over and over again. We see DARPA continually coming up with these very dark, sinister uses for technology that violate our individual liberties, that violate our freedom. I mean, we're talking about 
the, what's behind Jade Helm, the many different aspects of this. Mm -hmm. And of course, we, we've mentioned this many times, mastering the human domain. They have human domain analytics, part of geospatial intelligence. That's a field that is the fastest growing area of intelligence. This is about tracking your metadata. Right. People don't realize how powerful that is when they lied at first and said, no, we're not not really listening to your phone calls. And they, they walk that back, well, we're just collecting some metadata that's mm -hmm. not really powerful. That is one of the most powerful aspects of it. They've been Absolutely. working for over 15 years. James Clapper, his first directorship was of geospatial intelligence. They've been working for over 15 years to put together metadata to map out your behavior right. and to track you. And so that's one of the most important activity-based intelligence, human domain analytics, all of that is part of geospatial intelligence. So when we see things like this, this is something that appeared on the Drudge Report. He talked about a, a digital pill. This is something that is very sinister, and we see DARPA always doing this. They say, well, we're doing this brain project, but we're going to help soldiers to get rid of specific memories that are troublesome. Right. That's not what they're going to do. Yeah. They're going to use this it's for mind control. They're going to use it for doing electronic lobotomies, which they did to soldiers coming back from World War II. Right. We always see this happen. Yeah, absolutely. And it also kind of ties into all, all of the immigration issues that we're seeing. Uh, the globalist plan is for a global order and a borderless world. And that's not so that we can be free and we don't need our to show our ID and our papers, please, and we can roam about freely. No, they're going to have these systems set up in place yes. where we are all now being tracked on a global scale. Svigny Brzezinski pointed that out in 1970 when he wrote his book that was so popular, they, they liked so much, they put him in charge of the Trilateral Commission. And he was talking about a technocratic regime where they're going to track everybody biometrically. They create these crises because they've already got the quote unquote solution, their solution in place. Mm -hmm. The crises are to push the next level of their plan as a solution to that crisis. So when we have the open border crisis, the removal of national borders, that presents them with an opportunity to say, well, the only thing we can do to, for that is biometric tracking. We can see the beginning of this with E-Verify, but it's going to get far more pervasive far more sinister. When DARPA does their robotics programs, we look at these things, we look at these uh, uh, robots that, that really are quite frightening when you look at them in the context of Terminator right. and autonomous killing machines and everything. They say, don't, don't worry. This is so that we can get into a nuclear reactor like Fukushima. Yeah, they always help. have some benign, so helpful we, you know, facade that they can explain it away as. Right, so it's, you know they won't have to waste a human life. And obviously what's going to happen is it's going to create a digital arms race. And we're already seeing that happen. Uh, a Texas businessman was just um, caught yesterday selling $50 million worth of military intelligence to Russia. And mm -hmm. what was he sending them? This surveillance microchip technology. So this is the same thing if we move to autonomous weapons with the robots. It's going to create an arms race where everyone's going to have to have something to work in this new digital battlefield. It's spy versus spy. And all the spies and all the criminal hackers are allied against us. Yeah, right. there's another article about that as well. Uh, spy software found pre-installed on Leno Lenovo, Huawei, and I can't even pronounce it, Xiaomi smartphones. These are all Chinese smartphones. Wow. This is an article that was on InfoWars today. It came from Epic Times. They say, malware that can listen to calls that can track users, there you go, tracking users again, can make online purchases, was found pre-installed on smartphones from these Chinese companies. So there you go. It's, it's not just uh, the, the uh, nation states that are spying on each other, spying on us, our own country, uh, our own government spying on us, but of course it is also criminal hackers, and it's a piece of cake because Leanne, this is something that I thought was very interesting. Again, this is something from DARPA, our, our favorite research uh, project here. Uh, this is from a blog called the uh, Goat Tree uh, Blog. A penny for your thoughts. And take a look at this picture that comes up. This is a picture of a tiny chip on the nose of Abraham Lincoln on a penny. You can pull up that picture there. Look at wow. how small that is. And look at the picture to the right of it. There, how many DARPA chips can you fit, or we should say maybe NSA spy chips? How many NSA spy chips can you fit on the head of a pen? Well, they've got three of them there with a lot of real estate left over. Wow. Now, when he looked at this, he said, mm, they're putting this maybe on money. Maybe we're not going to go to a cashless society. Exactly. Maybe they want to track us with, uh, put this in our coins, put this, I would think, more likely on $100 bills. Right. Now, the way this is being sold, again, they always have a good way to sell this. This is something that DARPA is doing as part of, get this, their SHIELD program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, just in so time clever. for the Marvel Civil War. Yeah. Their SHIELD program. 
This is a hundred thousand chip, a uh, hundred thousand transistor chip. Listen to some of the capabilities that it has. It has features they, they say are remarkable for its size. Among them, two-way radio communication, onboard encryption, an energy harvesting function that casts away the need for a 